Hi everyone, and this is Heart Divine. In this video, I'm going to talk about something different, something that a lot of people have encouraged me to do, and also Starlight Stacy from YouTube um, told me that I should really do something, a video about about this, as it will help a lot of people, including her and a lot of my clients as well. So, so first of all, I'd like to say that. I'm going to talk about law of attraction, but all at the same time, um, I just want to emphasize the fact that the things that I'm going to tell you here in this video are just my personal opinions and from my personal experiences. So um, I just don't want to, you know, clash with anyone's ideals. So just know that I'm just speaking my mind here and sharing you what I know and, you know, the things that I personally think would help you as it helped me. So, um, yeah. So, um, I kind of feel that law of attraction is very, very similar in doing magic. Very similar and doing spells um, they're not exactly the same but they have their own similarities and you know a lot of people when they talk about magic magic with the K <laughs> um, they're thinking that it's related to spell work and when people think about spell work um, there's a lot of negative issues that is arising on that note because they would say that that is related to witchcraft, that is related to witches, and that is related to um, forcing someone's will. Um, I really don't think that that is the case, though, you know, it will take a long discussion to get to the bottom of it, but I just don't feel that they're all exactly in that sense because when we talk about law of attraction in a very very main um main and simple terms we are talking about that an action or belief that positive thoughts are magnets for positive life experiences all at the same time um, negative thoughts are magnets for negative life experiences. That is how I view law of attraction. Because, you know, it's a universal law and it's like attract like. So if you are um, at the state of being so negative, you are going to attract this in your life. That is how they say things to be in law of attraction. Now, when we talk about magic, magic is not, you know, a hocus pocus thing. It's not what the magicians do. Magic is an art and science of focusing your will and emotions to affect change both in the world around you and the world within you. And if you think about it, it has a relation with law of attraction as well. If you take a look at the definitions, as you know, your emotions, which is the frequency that you are vibrating, which has a relation with law of attraction, has an effect and change with the world around you and within you. But the difference is, magic can be in a form of a positive sense or negative sense, they say, but um, from my, reach, my research and a lot of studies that I've done, they are saying that magic is neither good nor evil. So it's not really a positive thing or a negative thing. It's just like, it's just an act of your emotions. And that is what magic comes to be. And it is the use of power that determines the path it will take so it could be in a good path or a bad path it really depends and it's just like law of attraction if you're so negative even though that you're not being so intentional that is what you will attract 
and in a way it's like magic all at the same time so um so do not be surprised if i will be mentioning magic all throughout the video so when we talk about spells now this is an extended mental and emotional energy spoken aloud written spoken into oneself drawn or even dance like uh in the form of a ritual that kind of thing and for every spell work to work it should be clear concise focused emotional and the very very crucial thing about spell work is that the need should be there as you are working on a spell for the spell to be i know um to come into a uh, successful culmination so i hope we are all clear and that and that um differences that we are talking about now why do i mention spell work magic and law of attraction in this video this is because what I'm going to share with you is that one of the practice that I have been doing for um, a lot of years since, I guess, 2011 or 12, around those times. And I find it that due to a lot of things that I have tried, a lot of practices, I have found one of the best way to actually manifest things to come into your life and i'll discuss more or more about my experiences later on so first of all um most of the things that i'm going to talk about is from the books of Rhonda Bryan's, and i ha as you can see i have three books here with me the first one is the secret the second one, the second book that she has is The Power. And the last one is The Magic. Now, if you go to Google and, you know, you, you try to research about The Secret and Law of Attraction, there's a lot of things going on there. There's a lot of um, threads and comments from different people regarding how it isn't true it's just like a scam or you know just a fad but personally i do believe that you know it's real it's true the magic is real and it can manifest whatever you desire each of us has our own power we are like you know we do have our god the most powerful one but i do believe that each people have their own you know power to actually manifest what they want to happen in their life as well so um yeah so the first book that aronda brines um had is the secret now in the first book it didn't really teach you how you can manifest what you desire it taught you the basics and you know testimonials of a lot of people that put magic into their mind in the, into their daily lives but a lot of people will complain it did not tell me how this would work some have practiced it, some had seen the results, some just did not. And this is because we all have different frequencies and we all have, you know, different situations, different thoughts. Some are being open-minded about it, some are close-minded, and that's just the reality of it. And the second book, The Power, it tells us on what would make the secret work so if you're getting my shift what i truly mean to say here is that you might need to read the three books all together to actually understand the whole process of it 
and not just read them in the sense of you know just reading them but you know really understanding them and to what makes them works now of course if you're reading this video you're probably you know going to take the shortcut um type of um route because you know i'm basically telling you what i've already learned but you know to get more insights yourself you might need to read it yourself but for now i'm going to tell you the things that i've learned so anyway in the third book the magic this is my most favorite one because these two books gives you more about information and love attraction how it works or or the successful stories that other people had that actually tells you that you know nothing is ever of loss of hope that kind of a thing but in the third book which is the magic this is more of a um worksheet that kind of thing it helps you manifest what you desire in your life so um if you bought this book then you're pretty lucky because you can just you know read them again and instead of chapters it's it all goes by with day one as chapter one and you know how this book does is that you you only tend to read one chapter a day and it will ask you to do something within that day or in the next day and what you should do it's more of um, a helping guide for you to really shift your energy and frequency to be able to manifest things in your life and this is not a general thing this is very specific like um during the first stage you're just going to count your blessings and it's going to tell you a lot of practices that you can do to how manifestation can work and what i like about this is that it helps you fix your relationships as well whether you feel that it's very impossible to fix it I just feel that there's nothing is ever impossible and you know my experience three years ago um, is one of the thing that I always tell people when they feel very lost in their situation because because of this, it helped me grow a lot uh, within myself, individually, spiritually, and, you know, working more on my spirituality and gifts all at the same time. So, so let me just focus right now with the basic idea and how you can manifest your desires and what practice that you can do so mainly the book will tell you to keep a notebook or a journal with you that you can write and when you say that you are going to write something about it it's about you writing using a pen or a pencil something that is handwritten not to be typed on a computer and just like magic and spell work you do things by hand and you know not something out of the computer and this is because you're putting energy and intentions towards what you are doing what you are writing about and even in ancient times you know just scribbling or making doodles in uh, a paper or a scratch paper will have a sense of magical energies in it if you are very very frustrated or you wanted to curse someone you might think that you're just making doodles on a on a short piece of paper but you're actually 
putting some intention in it, whether it's intentional or not intentional. And I actually have heard this towards a friend of mine who is in a family of traditional witches. So whether that was true or not, it still makes sense because there was one time that she accidentally did something of a doodle that she just thought that is pretty nonsense, but she was really, really pissed off about this guy. And because she has some sort of power in her, uh, she accidentally she accidentally did something to actually harm this guy. But hopefully, she, he was saved after being hospitalized for quite some time now. So, um, either way, the main issue here is that everything that we do, everything that we put focus on, we're putting intention, energy to it. And if you would notice um, what spell is and what magic is, you would notice that one thing is very, very apparent in there is that emotions, focus, and needs should be present. And all at the same time, whether you believe it or not, in love attraction, these are things that are crucial for you to do as well. So what do I mean by this? Like for example, you're doing your 10 wishes or 10 things that you want to manifest in your life. And with the practice in the magic, you always start with a thank you word because it is a sign of gratitude. And if you still do not know about it, uh, the more you are grateful for something, the more gratefuls are going to come in your life. And that is one of the most secret thing about law of attraction. But, you know, people tend to think that law of attraction is that uh, I will be positive. I'm just going to think that things will work out and it will. It's not always in that sense because you might think, positive but maybe you're not feeling that positive and that frequency you know vibrates and even though that you're trying to think positively if you're feeling negatively that will pull pull down the manifestation work that you're trying to manifest in the real life so your feelings your emotions comes of very importance with um when you're trying to manifest something and this is why i think or or at the very least i believe that magic and law of attraction goes hand in hand because of the emotions that are involved so anyway so as i was saying earlier a lot of people will write their gratefuls like for example um they want someone to fall in love with them. Of course, that person is not going to fall in love with you. At the very least, you're putting the wrong intention to the things that you're wanting and writing about. Because from what you're wanting to say, you wanted someone to force herself or himself to fall in love with you and this is not how it works so um so what i did is that instead of this person to fall in love with me i just wanted to improve my relationship with this person so i'm going to say it in a present tense that um, for example thank you for bringing mike and i in each other's lives once again and we're happy for example that is the sentence that i've come up and mike is someone that i've come up as well (laughs) not a real person so for example that is what i wanted to manifest in my life i say it in a in a present tense form but saying it and formulating the words and writing the words is just not enough You need to put some feelings into it. And 
then after writing your 10 wishes or 10 manifestations daily, you have to read each of them aloud. So as you can see, this, this action and this practice has been written in the Book of Magic. So it's not something I've come up with, okay? And at the same time, I'm going to remind you on what magic and spell work is again. Again, magic is focusing your will and emotions to affect the change that you want to come in your in your role. And spell is a kind of um, mental and emotional energy spoken aloud. So again, if we are, you know, looking at this, you can see, you can actually see that law of attraction has the qualities of what spell is and what magic is. So, um, yeah, there. And, um, when you say those manifestations aloud as if you have to feel as if they truly have happened and you just need to focus on yourself that what if this person and i reconciled what would it feel like if our relation relationship deepened what would it feel like those kinds of things You need to feel it, you know, you need to experience it, you need to visualize it. And all of this is more of an act of not just law of attraction, but but it's also a mix of magic. Because these are practices that we also do in magic or whenever we do castings. All at the same time, you know, if you have a very, very complex situation, like for example you have a lot of negativity towards someone but all at the same time you wanted to improve your relationship that is going to be very tricky because your vibrations and frequency are going to get mixed up to the point where in i guess the energy or universe doesn't know what you truly want to happen in your relationship. And this is probably one of the reasons why things are fluctuating between you and this person. So like, for example, I'm mad towards Mike. I didn't like the way he treated me, uh, but I want him to be in my life. That is going to be very complicated. So there are certain actions in the book of magic that you know there that you may need to heal the problems first and you may need to see the good side of your relationship for example um you're married with mike but you are having a dis divorce and you know this is something that it's very hard to handle most of the time for a lot of people and you know you need to write and in the book of magic um it will tell you to write about something that you're still thankful regardless of the situation that you are in and saying that you don't see anything good in the situation is not a valid answer because even with a tiny shift even with a very, very small reason, there is always something good in every situation. So if you're thinking that there's nothing good, it's not that there's nothing good in this situation. It's just that you're not thinking, you're not so open-minded to see the good in it. You're not thinking of the positive thing. Like, for example, um, this, is, this is one example when me and fa my fiancé, um way back we are actually we have broken up we have not been talking to each other we did reconcile at one point but our com communication is on and off and usually we tend to talk i guess once in a blue moon or once a month that kind of thing 
it was terrible and um, very, very frustrating time for me. So the things that I've written in my journal is that I was thankful that despite things that happened between the two of us, there are still times that he reaches out to me. And, you know, that, for me, that is a blessing, regardless of what people may say of his intentions are, those kinds of things. That alone makes a big difference because you're still seeing the good in the situation. You're still seeing the light in this person. So you may need to mention quite a few positive things that are happening in your relationship with this person, despite the difficulties in the present moment. Also, even though that things between you and this person are, are not being so well, um, you could say that I'm thankful that me and this person broke up because I was able to really look at myself learn a lot of things that I would not have learned if I'm with him. And this time, I am, you know, um, better. I'm a better person right now. And I'm glad to how things are shifting between the two of us. As, as you can see, I have accepted the fact that things between us are not working so well. Yet all at the same time, I'm saying that there is a shift in the, the relationship that is to come for the two of us to improve their relationship and again that is a different factor and added magic as i'm focusing things to be in a positive light so people might say that this is just a waste of time things like that i cannot blame people who think differently because we all have our different thoughts and experiences with law of attraction magic and so forth but I would say that this is real because it had a lot of impact in my own life, in my career, and in my relationships as well. So um, as I was saying earlier, I was doing this not for the sake of manifestation, but I just wanted to feel better during the time in my relationship with this man who is still in fact actually in my life and this is something I'm very very thankful of because I really did not think it would manifest in such a way that it did right now so what happened is that um, in my <laughs> notebook which you can see it's uh, whole pages of me writing stuff so there are a lot of things that I have written in here that after quite some time, I have looked back on it and I realized that this is something that I have written in the past and I can't believe it's happening. Like for example, me and that man, we're not on speaking terms but, but it has improved and right now we're still in each other's lives. And some people would say that it's a miracle. Some people would say, nah, it's because of your, you have a soul connection with this person. But at that time when I was writing this, we really did not have some sort of communication. And it was really, really hard, you know, emotionally, mentally, those kinds of th stuff. Also, there was one time that, you know, there is one thing in this magic book. It tells you on what you want to happen in your relationships. So, as far as I remember, I have written there that this guy gives me a ring. <laughs> and, you know, wanted to validate our rela relationship this time around. And I guess around 2013, he went back to the country that I am in and brought me to the place when, where we first met and actually put a ring on my ring finger, on my left hand ring finger. And you know, I was very, very surprised. 
And, you know, I did not expect that to happen. But whether it is a coincidence or not, it is something that I've written on my journal and my practices and law of attraction and magic. And people may not believe it, but, you know, for me, it did wonders in my life. A lot of things that I have written there have come to pass, have manifested in my life. So yeah, this is something that I want for everyone to take a better look again. So again, um, it's all it's not about just reading the books. It's not about putting yourself in a positive state. It's really about what you feel. Are you being thankful of this person in your life? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling love? And even if you're not feeling that, you need to shift yourself. You need to change the way you are thinking and the way you are feeling. And you can do it. And, you know, this is a process called mental programming. And a lot of people who does magic, this is something that they need in their individual self in their life for things to you know shift in the way that they wanted to and when it comes to magic for me everyone can do magic whether they acknowledge magic or not whether they acknowledge its existence or not or you know whatever they think about magic magic is there magic is every energy that we evoke in our lives so whether we are intentionally working on magic or not, it is something that occurs. As again, it is an emotion. Focusing on your emotion to change the effect of the things in your life, that kind of a thing. So um, anyway, I guess the very, very main message here is that even when you are in a restless situation, even when all hope is lost, at the very least for you, if you are someone who believes that things will still change, and you, if you are someone like me who has dedicated herself to not give in to the situation at hand and the person who wanted to change things, because I'm the person who believes that, you know, The future is always in my hands and not just with faith alone, not just with astrological concepts. If there's something that I can do, I'm always willing to do. I'm just willing to do it. So, and this is something I want a lot of people to take into mind that, you know, if someone tells you that, Nah, this is not gonna change. Gonna change. For me, do not believe it. Do not give in to those kinds of words unless if you have done everything. If you have done everything and still nothing has changed, then you know you will be more ready to let go and let things come to be. And for me, it's always better to, you know, practice and mental programming, affirmations, and, you know, focusing on your emotions and energies because it can save a lot of things. It can save your health, it can save your career issues, and it can save your relationships as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm... I'm not really sure if I'm explaining this in a sense wherein people understand everything correctly but I tried to give the very very main points out there for you to at least follow and you know you can always ask me for some insights about this and how you can work it on or you can just buy Rhonda Bryan's books and just read them again but again I would like to say that this is not attraction and the belief in magic is all about is for the people who are more on open minded those who have confidence in in themselves that they can do it
because you know practicing the magic love attraction is all good when your frequency is very high and positive and all at the same time there's a need for you to trust the process trust the universe and trust yourself as well so yeah um i do hope that in a way you have learned something with me and found out a lot some things that can help you in your manifestation journey to whatever law of attraction practices that you are doing you can apply this just do remember that your thoughts and your emotions says a lot about what frequency you are giving out to the world and that is what will help you in your manifestation process as well and this is something you can do every day or you can do every new moon as a new moon wishes to send out to the universe for new beginnings to come into your life so yeah again thank you for watching and if you'd like to have you know any questions just leave a comment below and your experiences as well and if you are someone who was doing law of attraction and doing magic book like i was doing and you probably have stopped then i guess this is a sign that maybe you should work on it again and see and do it correctly this time around and see the magic it brings in your life so yeah this is heart divine and thank you